These weren't in any special order, were they?
play a league, I'm gonna be down here. Fuck me. Might as well get some booze in here. Oh god, that was you. Ooh, baby, in the heat too. Wow. That's fucking hardcore. Baby. All right. You might have, you might want your mic off. Whatever. Don't tell me what to do, Aaron. You're not the boss of me. Must have been on. I'm sorry, Aaron. I didn't mean to yell. You're, you're better at magic than me. I shouldn't yell at you. All right. You guys ready for some dinosaur legacy? Because I don't know if I am. I had to join a <laughs> league. I'm kind of nervous. I'm kind of scared. I'm a little scared boy. Uh, so let's see how this goes. Okay, so I, I'm on a legacy kick. I played legacy last week. I got dumpstered on. This week, I'm going to play legacy again and probably get dumpstered on. So, hey, let's keep the dumpster fire rolling. So we don't need this up quite yet. We will in a minute. I got us uh, logged into a league. Got all the cards. Bye, Abe. I see you Wednesday. So this is this beautiful pile of loveliness here that we have. Now, I was inspired by Mr. Let me get his name right. I believe it's David. Yes. David Rosado. Okay. He played... Legacy Dinosaurs this past weekend, he played a different list than I made. His list inspired me to make something different, maybe not better, because he won three rounds in the Legacy SCG Classic in Syracuse. So let's see if I can win a game, because my deck is completely different from his. And, you know, you never know. So let's see. I'll, I'll bring his list up for you guys in just a second. And make sure, you know, let you guys know that I'm not the creator of Dinosaur and Dinosaurs and Legacy. I am just a just a man that wants to show you that uh, I have an idea and maybe this will work, maybe it won't. So I took the mono red sneak attack idea and I thought to myself, what would be better than to Gishath out of a sneak attack, attack for seven. Maybe there's a one or two or three butt out there that's going to block this. And the rest is going to get through. So if the rest gets through, we get to look at the top of our deck and we get to put dinosaurs into play. But they stay there and Gishath goes away because he's only there for one turn. So let's see how this works. A lot of fatty dinosaurs in here. And this, this might just get us there. But we do. We're very similar to the mono red sneak attack deck where you can actually cast things on turn three or four where you can cast a, a titan an inferno titan on three or whatever so i also kind of went with that that idea also with charging tuscadon <laughs> he's too red he's a four four dinosaur with trample and it says if charging tuscadon would deal combat damage to a player it deals double that damage to that player instead so if we're able to rifle this guy off on turn two, turn three, I mean, we might be hitting for, for eight a turn until they can deal with him. So uh, he's going to be a pretty good threat. Same thing, Burning Sun's Avatar. Now this is your Down Syndrome Inferno Titan, right? He is a dinosaur that comes into play. He does three damage to target opponent or Planeswalker which could be helpful. You might need to spike off a Jace. And he also does three damage to up to one creature. So we might be able to hit, I don't know, a Delver with it. You know, maybe a, <coughs> I don't know, something else. We'll see. We'll see what we can hit. I can't think of many targets right now. I know we can't hit True Name. So we've got some other cool dinosaurs in here. I'll show you those in just a second, but let me show you the mana base. Tomb, you've got your basic mono red sneak. 
We got four ancient tombs, four city of traders, two crystal veins, one sandstone needle for those of you that aren't familiar with this card. It comes into play tapped and it's a soul land. It gives you two land, but you get two red land out of it. They're depletion counters. Once the two depletion counters are gone from it, that's it. You can't use it anymore. I don't believe... Oh, you have to sacrifice it. Okay, got to sacrifice it. Then you have your eight mountains. So I, tr I thought about adding in, splashing some green so that if we needed to, we could hard cast a Galta. But we would have had to put some wooded foothills in there along with... Um, the, we had to put wooded foothills in there along with, God, what else was it? Two, two or three taigas. And I just didn't feel like that's something that we wanted to do. I had a few people tell me that maybe we should run caverns in there, but with this being a wasteland format and we're already, you know, city of traders and ancient tombs that are going to get wasted away. <coughs> Excuse me. I just, I didn't feel like, I didn't feel like a cavern is going to work along with having the main. We're just going to really lock ourselves out. Basically, the only way that we're going to be getting these creatures into play after we, we one or chalice on two, blood moon on two, blood moon on one, one, you know, when we try to lock our opponents out, we're going to try to sneak these guys in, or we're going to try to cast them through a through the breach. And again, like I said, our main it is going to try to be Gishath. So let me show you the other dinosaurs before I roll into the sideboard. The other ones I thought were going to be good other than just, um, let's see here, Galt. Galt. He's a 12-12 he's a Trample, so he's pretty sexy. Got This guy is actually, I wanted to add two of this guy in, but... Uh, I had to I had to make some cuts to make sure that everything else, all the lotus petals and the simian spirit guides and all that stuff that so we could we could lock our opponents out. So this guy can't be countered, which doesn't matter. No maximum hand size that doesn't matter. Whenever an opponent casts a non-creature spell, we draw a card that will matter against a if he gets if he gets uh, put out by a Gishaf. Also, if he's in our graveyard. If he already came in and he died and he's in our graveyard, we can discard three cards, you exile him, and you return him to the battlefield tapped under its owner's control at the beginning of the next end step. So if, you know, things are going bad, we may be able to discard him, something like that, but usually not. Hopefully we just, you know, we sneak him in, we punch with him, and then if we need to, we can discard three cards, get some extra damage in there. So he's pretty good. Also, the other guy that I was excited to play was Zakama. I actually thought that he ETB'd and you could just untap all your lands. Well, not true. If you cast it, then you can untap all your lands. We will never be casting this card because it's actually physically impossible. In our, it's not, but it is impossible. We need triple lotus. Uh, we need double lotus petal. So it's not looking too good for a, a hard cast. This guy is a 9-9. Nine -nine. His activation of Zakama deals three damage to target creature. That's pretty relevant. We could also, if we needed, you know, possible, we could crack off a Lotus Petal and sneak in one of the just one of his other um, abilities there. So, the other guy that's in here is Itali, Primal Storm. Now this guy is fucking sweet. I want to cast this. I want to just hard cast this guy and attack with him. He's a six six for six. And whenever he attacks, you exile the top card of each player's library. So my my library and your opponent's library. You may cast. Any number of non-land cards exiled this way without paying their mana cost. So this guy's pretty sick. So if we hit this guy and we get an attack out of it and we get to cast something out of their deck, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So this guy's, you know, he sprinkles on your ice cream, hopefully. So let me move you guys to the sideboard real quick. Uh, the only other thing I forgot, three seething songs in here. So again, that's that helps with our, you know, that... Turn one, you can play a Lotus Petal or pitch a, a Spirit Guide, and you can rifle off five mana. So, again, like I said, I laid out the sideboard much like the Mono Red Prison deck does. There weren't a whole lot of spice for 
the sideboard according to dinosaurs because there's not a ton of stuff printed already. The thing that I was able to find that would is relevant is Rampaging Ferocidon. Now, this guy's a cutie. I was thinking about maybe putting some in the main board, but again, we got to start cutting Simeon Spirit Guides or Lotus Petals in order to have him in the main. And he's just not, he just doesn't do a whole lot in, in Legacy. Uh, he has Menace. Players can't gain life. So that's, this is, my thought was I can show and tell this in against a Grizzlebrand. So they're not able, they're just able to hit. They're not able to hit for and gain the life. And whenever another creature enters the battlefield, he does one damage to that creature's controller. So it, it's pretty cute. I think I can also bring him in in the Death and Taxes matchup because he has Menace and I can try to get in there. The other card is uh, Chandra Torture Defiance. This is going to help us, obviously, if we can play a turn one or turn two Chandra. This will help us with the long game against those control decks that are just going to be countering our stuff. If we can land this first or maybe land this afterwards, she can help you get there. Um, a Braids. We cannot beat a Ensnaring Bridge. So we have to remember that. So those decks that do play Ensnaring Bridge, we're going to want to bring this in. This may also help us survive early against, you know, those uh, those blue-white Stoneblade decks. We might be able to kill a creature on, if we're on the draw. <coughs> Same thing with Shatter. This can be relevant against other decks. Again, we want a two-for-one or three-for-one, or if it's an Ensnaring Bridge type of deck they may be playing more artifacts like a Tazerator type of deck. We can bring this in against that and really just blow the entire board. Pyroblast, you guys all know what that's for. Destroy a, a blue spell in play or a, a target blue, target permanent or a counter. Also, we've got defense grid, so against those counter spell decks, we can play this on one and, and then try to through the breach or play our sneak attack afterwards. This for us. And we also, I put a, a one of Trinosphere on the side. This card is, is going to be really good against a lot of those burn-esque decks, the decks that we already have Chalice, but Trinosphere is really good against those decks that are really trying to cantrip. Let's see. So we got, excuse me, we got double Trinosphere. Sorcerer Spyglass is just really good against those matchups that you have a hard time against because you can just bring this in and you can call a, you can call a fetch land. If you take a look at their hand and they've got... Uh, this happened to me this previous weekend when I played. Um, some guy brought Sorcerer Spyglass in. He played it. He looked at my hand. He saw that he was on the play. He saw that I only had one Bloodstain Mire. And so he called Bloodstain Mire. And it locked me out of the game. It was backbreaking. So this card is very good in, in many situations. And we'll be bringing that in today. All right, so that's the deck. So, like I said, I usually don't play a league, but today with Legacy, there's not a whole lot of people that are just playing pickup games. So we're gonna run through a Legacy game, uh, Legacy league. Uh, I have wine with me, so I'll make sure that I'll keep myself company. Hopefully, you guys keep me company too. Aaron, I see that you're out there. I appreciate you. So yeah, hit me up in chat. Let me know if you guys you know, want me to make any certain lines, or if there's anything that you see that I'm doing wrong, or just troll me. Feel free. Let's see. All right, so first thing I want to do is let you guys know that our co um, content today is brought to you by Mom's Basement Games, me, myself, at the head. We also have our other streamers, which you saw in the intro, and we're on five days a week. So check us out on our YouTube channel. You can find that on our TCG player. That's linked there. Check us out on Facebook, and we also have our Twitter. And I let you guys know, like, hey, I'm going live in 15 or... I'm going to be playing this deck this week. Help me build the sideboard or help me with the main, stuff like that. So catch us on Twitter. Also, if you're if you're on our site, our momsbasementgames.tcgplayerpro.com site, you can find our legacy content there, links to our YouTube channel, and vice versa. If you're watching this on YouTube, check the description below, and that'll take you to all of our other links. All right, so let's get into it. Play league. What the 
fuck, monster cat? Why are you fucking with me? Play some music, doggy. There you go. We got the jams back. Cheers. I won the die roll. Let's see some chalice on one. So we have a chance. <clears throat> That's a chalice on one. With a sneak. Oh, this hand's lit. This hand's litty titty. <coughs> so what are we gonna do here? We're gonna go City of Traders. Now we can play turn one sneak attack here. Then we don't have any mana to activate it. <laughs> so we're just going to go City of Traders into turn one chalice. We're not going to be too greedy. All right, if we can do this all day, hopefully in Fade Force of Wills, we might be in, in good shape. In combat, yeah, you got it, bub. What are you doing? You're not doing anything. Is there a stop on that? Did I miss it? Look away for two seconds. I hope this deck is just going to kill some people. I don't get it. Am I missing something here? Let's cast a Blood Moon. <coughs> Let's six it. Now we have a mountain. We got a long way to go to play this sneak attack, but I think we can get there. Think we can get there, y'all. You got it. Lotus Petal on zero. Got another mountain. All right, one more mountain and we can cast Gishath. It's gonna be the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. Do some really fun stuff online. When I meme, <coughs> it's almost ex more exciting than playing real magic. There's a tide spout tyrant over there. Oh, buddy. Look out. Look out. We might be in trouble. Yep. Crack for a black and a red. No. Fuck me.
Tide Spout Tyrant is we're gonna have to rip. Holy shit. It's only a 5-5. Five five. Come on, baby. Land off the top. One time. We got like two turns to land off the top, don't we? Eh, ish. Sweet. That's not land. Shit. But we can play Chalice on zero. So he doesn't cast any more Lotus Petals. So that's... Yeah, that's what I want. No, I don't want to use my monkey. I want to cast it on zero. Now that locks us out of our own Lotus Petal, but we do not want him bouncing any permanents. I'm going to be taking five for a hot minute here. But I'm okay with that. Man, sneak attack and chalice. All we had to do was draw a land. We just needed one lane and we could. Unfucking real. You got it. I'll take five. Maybe. We're doing big things. We drew that land. Come on, sneaky, sneaky. Yeah, I did. I'm, I'll six through it. You're right. You're right. You're right. So we're down to 10. All right. So let's go ahead and activate sneak attack. Let's put Gishoth into play. Do we want to sneak in our other, our charging Rasted down, so they're gonna do a yeah, we can just kill them here. So, yeah, we just want to kill them here. I mean, I do want to have fun, but I also want to win games. I mean, I just want to see what Gishoth puts out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, uh, sorry, I can't stop playing. <laughs> oh no. No, no, let me take. I want to see what Gish... <laughs> I want to see what Gishoth was going to put out. Come on. Oh, ticket in. Tiki Dan. Come on, man. I got memes to make on the internet, bro. Ugh. Oh boy. Oof. All right, so we saw Lotus Petal Tide Spout. Okay, so we're kind of playing against the playing against a mirror esque right now. So I'm uh, I'm I'm excited. This is great. So we do want to try to again lock them out. So let's get our. Let's get our Trinispheres in here. Let's get our Defense Grids in here. What do you guys think? Defense Grids. We're playing against like Sneak and Show, I believe. <coughs> With a mainboard Tide Spot Tower? That's that's so weird. Um, black Red Reanimator. We had blue and black fetch lands in there. Shit's wild. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna bring in Trinosphere. No, am I? No. I think I'm just gonna bring in Defense Grids. I think Sorcerer's Spyglass would be fine. So we can stop that. Pyroblast, we can kill Tide Spout Tyrant. We can, what else can we kill? I 
Frostodon. He's pretty cool because we can show and tell him in. So we're bringing seven cards here. Um, what are we going to take out, though, is the question. We want to keep these fatties in because we want to race them. I think these guys are kind of slow. Those are more for grindier matchups. So we got four cards there. Seething Song is good. Blood Moon's good. Lotus Petal's good. Simeon Spirit Guides. God, what do we take out here? This guy, maybe? Then we're hitting. So we took out three dinosaurs. Blood Moon's still pretty fucking good here. Hmm. Alright, I think I'm going to go that way. <laughs> Alright, gave me a little bit of time. Alright, let me check the chat here. What are you saying? Yes, Trinosphere and Grid. I know, Trinosphere, I felt like... I felt like Trinosphere is good, but I don't know what else to take out, to be honest. Alright, so this hand's bad. We're mulligan in this hand. One, two, three. Land, pitch, pitch. It's four mana through the breach. <coughs> I don't like this hand either. I mean, this guy, whenever he enters the battlefield, he's only doing three. I think we mulligan this too. I mean, it is a turn two through to breach with some more, but I don't know. I just don't feel like this is solid. This hand's a little bit better. We can at least Sorcerer's Spyglass here maybe, but then we just might lose. So if we Chalice, Chalice on one might be pretty solid. Might be a better play. Let's see here, so we can Chalice on one, and then turn two, we can play Sorcerer Spyglass. So let's keep this on top. Let's draw that. Fuck you, Moto. Takes me 30 seconds to cast a goddamn chalice the void. <coughs> Exhum in response. You got it, bub. Or in tomb in response. Oh boy. Could be bad. This could be good. I don't know. Press play. Don't pause. Press play. Don't pause. Press play. Don't pause. Don't pause. Press play. All right, JVP. You in there like swimwear, bub. That's going to be tough to deal with. We could Sorcerer's Spyglass uh, Jay's Telepath Unbound, right? <coughs> so 
So let's take a look at this. Activated abilities of sources with a chosen name can't be activated unless they're mana abilities. Yeah. So we can we can pop this and call Jay's. Um So let's use this here. Let's use Exile the Spirit Monkey. Let's cast this. See what they got in their hand. We got daze. So he's not dazing that. That's weird. Guess he doesn't really care. Got Iona in the graveyard. He's got careful study, so he thinks he's just gonna draw out of this. But he can't cast careful study, so. And it's one drop, so. Hmm. So we looked at his hand. Uh, we're gonna name Jace. I'm a Ren's prodigy. Don't pause. Press play. <clears throat> Don't pause. Press play. Don't pause. Press play. Don't pause. Don't pause. Press play. Holy shit! Off the top ropes. Wow, way to draw that exhum, you got it. So I own um Holy shit. Way to draw it. This guy just knew. Tiki Dan said, bring it. I know what's coming. Falling red. Ooh, sending a message. Attacking for zero. That's what I like to see. Very nice. So how do we get out of this? We have all red things. All things red. We don't get out of this. We can't get rid of... I. So we're dead. I think we need the extra time because I'm very slow, so let's concede this game. There's no way out of this. All right, Aaron, so you said bring in Trinisphere. I'll agree with that being on the play. I just didn't want it in on the draw. Uh, Sorcerer's Spyglass was really good there. Um... Chalice is good. Galta, you're in there still. We love you, Galta. We want to see you. We want to see you thrive. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> so we've got 62 cards. These defense grids are pretty solid. Again, what do we take out? We're not on the beatdown plan, but we want to have. We don't want to take all of our dinosaurs out. I think this guy sucks a little bit because if we can lock them out, I think he's less good. So let's see. We just want to disrupt them, I think, and then be on our plan. So let's bring in one defense grid. Let's see, the seething song is pretty good, but yeah, so we'll keep a good amount of dinosaurs in there. I think I'm gonna take out Sorcerer Spyglass here so that we can just be on the, the more defensive plan and we can go we can go faster. Because again, we just want to outrace them. Bring in that uh song, bring that back in. You don't like Trenosphere? I thought you said Trenosphere, man. Come on. Come on, guy. Make up your mind. I guess I could. I guess I could play this one of Chandra. It's pretty, pretty meh. I'm just hoping, I'm just seeing the game being locked out, to be honest. Being able to not activate Grizzle Brand is pretty good, too. So, I don't know. 
I think I like Trinisphere on the play. So let's do it. Let's submit this list and see how things go. And this, uh, this is brought to you by Howell's Main Street Winery. Cheers, Howell's Main Street Winery. I would love to play first. I would love to get inside those dinosaur guts. Turn what Blood Moon seems really good here with a sneak attack back up. I like it. With the defense grid too. Hmm. I like this hand. Let's keep this hand. It's not amazing, but I think it's good enough. I think it's good enough to get there on the play. Them turn one blood moons is pretty good, y'all, in Legacy, I'll tell you that. Him's pretty good. All right, let's six it. Let's play that defense grid next turn and then work our way towards the sneak attack. Ooh, baby, fucking chalice on one. Mmm. Feels real good. That's what I like to see. It's gonna be a grind fest. Oh, that's tough to see. All right, so we have a monkey, so that's good news. We got some mana. <clears throat> Play out this defense grid, just curving out hard. We may get we may get a scoop if it's not drawing any land in the next couple turns, but we'll see. Just waiting on a lotus petal. Grizzle Dad in the in the graveyard's pretty scary. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna get this sneak attack in here. I'm gonna exile this monkey. We're gonna exile this monkey. Hopefully we can uh, we can get this race going. I mean, being able to kill somebody with the Burning Sun's avatar is going to be pretty solid. Oh, oh, the dreams. Oh, the dreams. The dreams. Oh, cancel. Let's activate this. I'm, I'm getting so excited. Please don't scoop. Please don't scoop. Please let me move to combat. Oh God. Oh God, we hit a oh. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm gonna die. It's too funny. Ooh, why didn't I, why didn't I sneak? What's wrong with me? I mean, it'll kill him next turn, so I guess that's fine. Man, can I just screenshot this and just save this for the rest of my life? I'm really happy. No, and he's allowing me to to murder him.
Thank you, Tiki Dan. You are a gentleman and a scholar for allowing me to murder you with dinosaurs. Well then, the deck worked very good. We got, we won our first round. We, we got there. I'm, I'm so enthralled right now. This is so cool. All right, so. Ah, uh, we cut. Got it. Thanks, Aaron. You're the best, man. So let's, let's go ahead and get into our next match. Just waiting. I'll keep running through. Hopefully we can keep locking people out. Yeah, so I got this new Streamlabs working this week, so it's a it's a better looking overlay. It doesn't the, the card is not in the way the cards, so it's a lot cleaner. So I'm happy. I'm putting a lot of work putting a, a lot of work into this, and it's been paying off. So like I said, if you guys you guys are watching this on YouTube, please feel free to go back and follow us on Twitch. And you can see us play Standard, mod Modern, and Legacy all week. <coughs> I'm Josh, your meme master. And really just follow us. That's all. Follow us. We got a lot of good guys that are out here playing, trying to get better at Magic. And we need your guys' support. Need your help building decks. Need your, need your help deciding on decks, sideboards. I mean, Legacy Dinosaurs is not something easy to play. I would say, and I think if somebody were had a high level and a high skill set that wanted to kind of mess around with this deck, I know they can make it way better than when I made it. So, but again, a lot of people that have a high ceiling for magic aren't going to be memeing decks, you know, so very, very few of them out there. Winning die rolls is going to be good for us today, boys and girls. Because we are just going to continue to chalice on one. Look at this. Crystal Vein. Popping that off. We got a sneak attack. We can just chalice on one and hopefully we get there. I like this hand. I'm keeping this hand. We don't have a Blood Moon. But I'm hoping this works. If we get, if we get forced, we're in bad shape. No fossil wear. Woo -hoo. Cast my lotus petal. Storm count too. Where's my storm count? So this, you know, Chalice on one in Legacy is not always the is gonna shut down every single deck. So you gotta remember that. that that's not the the be all and end all. You know, because right now <coughs> we put ourselves in a spot where, you know, if we don't play a Blood Moon, we're in tough shape. All right, City of Traders is looking good. We'll have four mana. But then once we play a sneak attack, we're not going to be able to get it in there. So I think we're just going to play a City of Traders and pass and see what develops. I don't really want to run this sneak attack out right now into this mana, so. I think we're just going to kind of chill because they're not doing anything. Looks like they're just, they're passing the turn. This Chalice might have fucked them up. So we got time to draw. Again, we got a dead draw, so we're just going to keep running past the turn. I feel comfortable with that. Yep, they're dead drawn too. So this is this is sometimes how Legacy works. So what are they? They moved to clean up, so Ponder, Flusterstorm. Okay, so we can, we can 
uh, cast so we can float mana, hit there. They can fetch. We can try to play sneak attack, but then we're going to have... What are we going to have? What are we going to be left with here? So two, three, four. Yeah, it's just going to get us the sneak attack. All right, so let's... I guess we'll try it. We're going to lose... We're going to lose our city, which is bad. It's like I wish we had a blood moon here so that we could keep this city. But... Let's run it out. Alright, I think this is getting countered, but we gotta try, y'all. We gotta try. Wow. It didn't. Okay. Let's... We're gonna activate this thing? Swing for nine? Start packing away. Vapor snag. Let's see a vapor snag. What do we got here? Nine nine haste vigilance reach trample coming at you. Begin combat. We're in combat. Attack. He's got vigilance, so he's not going to tap. Man, too bad that wasn't a Gishath. Holy shit. So hopefully we can just keep drawing creatures here and just keep sneaking them in and get there that way. <laughs> oh, I'm sneaking in a charging. I don't even remember its name. Charging Tuscadon. Holy shit. This is too fucking funny, man. Just not even not even being able to deal with it. Just. Ugh. This is so gross. Person's got to be one to just smash their computer right now. Take eight, buddy. Go to three. Hey, there's that third land. I'll take a third land. So we got some dead cards in our hand. I guess that's going to be... Flashing... Ooh, cunning wish. You might get out of this. That's such cool art. That is echoing truth. Oh, they gotta be up. You got it. Hmm, another sneak attack. We're over here. And so are they. Did you bounce a chalice? Yeah, bounce that chalice. 
Nothing I can do. All right, start can tripping and see what you got. I put you to two. If one of these was something different, was a creature, game would be over already, but it's a lot of cards in our deck. They all can be winners. Baby, high tide. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, we're, we're pretty much dead. Where'd our music go? Just buffering. New music. Let's hear some music. Because we're about to die, so we care about music. Alright, I'm going to six. Let's give him some six action. Float some manas. Please kill us. So, we're 1 0 right now with dinosaurs, legacy dinosaurs, mono red. Like I said, this previous weekend, I'll give you guys some background. This previous weekend, a Mr. Mike Rosado, which I'll pull up his Facebook here in a minute. Um, yeah, we're going to get blue, blue sunned out of this game. So, he, he played a different list. To, uh, to this, and he won three rounds at SCG Syracuse with green-red dinosaurs. So, it intrigued me, and because I'm trying to be the meme lord here for Mom's Basement Games, I wanted to wanted to try something different. His list was pretty one-drop heavy, and the first thing that came to my mind was Chalice of the Void. So I thought to myself, like, I don't want to get Chalice locked out of every game. You know? And if I'm casting two and three drop dinosaurs, that's not going to do much for me. So we're about to die to um, this. Um, what's its face here? Where's it at? The high tide. <coughs> so I'll uh, I'll talk through this. Storm counts ten, so we're almost we're getting there. But time spiral. Oh baby, what do we get? We get any lightning bolts? No lightning bolts in the list. Bummer. So I talked to Mr. Rosado about his list, and I wanted to pass a priority. What do we got here? What? What do you want? Already sixth. Get off my nuts. So this is what his list looked like. Yeah, 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 time spiraling. I get it. I get it. I'm dead. I'm out of mana. So his list looked like this. Uh, Birds of Paradise. Orcish Lumberjack. Dryad Arbor. Um... Raging Raptors, Wayward Swordtooth. So he said he didn't like the Wayward Swordtooth. Uh, Death Gorge Scavenger, Thrashing Br Bradastodon, or Bro Thrashing Brastodon. That's the one where you can. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know he won. Begin sideboarding. I'm, I'm all about that. I, I drew my deck out. All right, let me sideboard and we'll get back into his list. All right, so we're 100% bringing the pain here. So we're going to be on the play. We're going to bring in the Trinospheres. We're going to bring in the... Let's see, does Sorcerer's Spyglass help us against High Tide? I don't think it does. No, it doesn't. We just want to be able to Chalice, and we want to be able to Defense Grid. That'll help us also slow them down a turn from being able to bounce our Chalices to go off on us, which is kind of meh, but it can, it can help, again, with their counter spells, that'll, that'll help, because they play things like Flusterstorm, I saw that, that they pitched, so, so we got four cards coming in, we gotta get four cards out, so, again, these grindy matchups, we're not gonna be worried about, like this, this guy does eight damage, which is pretty sick early, if we can hit him off, but he's just not enough. 
This guy's not going to matter. There's no creatures. So I think because he's a five drop, we're going to want to leave him in. We can take these out. Those three guys out. Blood Moon, Seething Song, that's all good stuff. Because <coughs> again, we want to we wanna rifle this stuff off. Not Blood Moon. Oh, yeah, 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 Blood Moon, excuse me. Wow. I'm just so used to having Blood Moon in. So, it's Mono Blue. Ah, meh. Thanks, Aaron. I appreciate you. So, we're just going to cut the Blood Moons, and we are going to put in two Trinospheres and the Defense Spreads. So hopefully that works. Ah, and the Pyroblast. Let's not forget, forget about the Pyroblast. So we can cut... Let's cut one, two of these guys. All right, let's get in there. I like this. Chalice on one with Lotus Petal, but it's not like they... So we got Simeon Spirit Guide, so I, th I like this. I'm going to keep this. We don't have any effects to get Galta into play, but... I mean, Chalice is really, really, really powerful here, along with the Pyroblast backup to kind of save our Chalice from getting bounced or destroyed. Storm count one. <coughs> Force of will. Practice low. No, we're gonna. Yeah, we're gonna crack this lotus puddle. Depending on what they have, this could be. Could be a scoop. No, no scoop. Okay. They they believe in their drawing skills that they're gonna draw an echoing truth or something to balance that chance. So we have the seething song, so if we draw Barast like the, the five drop, we can just pitch that and we can cast Seething Song and we can play him on and as an 8-8 beater. So if this were if this were our 8-8 or our 4-4 four, four that does double the damage, we could cast him next turn. That's pretty fucking crazy. This deck's wild, man. I mean, it's not it's not good. It's not great, but it's it's good. It's better than some decks, you know? So, I'm not completely bringing it down. It's cute. Hmm. So one, two. So we're gonna be able to have five here, but six gets us the the other guy. And four mana, so five mana, that's gonna produce us. So I think I'm just gonna run out the Simeon Spirit guy and start getting beats in. <coughs> I feel like this is the right play. You know, let me know if I'm wrong. I could be wrong. Man, he's thinking about it. He is thinking about it. Holy shit. One blue. You got it. You just wanted a fetch in response to send a message? All right.
No, don't have that going true. No. Urkel's recall. Oof. Oof. It's too good. I'm gonna die. Damn. Could have used a fucking secondary power blast there. So we're probably dead next turn or the turn after. Let's see though. We're gonna keep squirting in here with the Simeon Spirit Guide. Try to spread the cheeks a little bit by two damage each turn. But like I said, I think we only have like two turns. And I think we're dead. Merchant Scroll is a bitch. I guess I could have waited and put Chalice on two, but then I don't know the format enough. Chalice on two could have been the could have been the bee's knees. Yeah, this guy does not care what we're doing. He's just like, eh, it's cool. I'll storm off on you in a minute. Gish off right there would have been really beautiful. Yeah. You got it. I can't do nothing about that. Oh yeah, I forgot my load to go back. Meh. Whatever. He's still dead. Ponder. Storm count one. Man. If I had to drink for each storm count, take a drink for each storm count in this, uh, in this league, I'd be in trouble. I'd have to go upstairs and get another bottle of wine. So we're gonna six this because we can't, we just can't respond. We can't do anything against this. We have no interaction here. <coughs> oh, wow. We didn't die, y'all. It's pretty crazy. Hmm. Nothing in the graveyard to worry about, so... I mean, that's the thing. I mean, if I knew to put Chalice on two, I think we'd be good, but I, don't, I just don't think, because High Tide's one, and then Turnabout's four or five. I think it's five. <clears throat> so I think we just put Chalice on one here, like like the usual. We could, yeah. Come on, monkey man, get us to get us to salvation. Get us a game here against High Tide. You can do this, buddy. What you do? Why you not? Why you not react? Counter it. Get this game over with. If you're gonna do it. Come on, guy. Come on, lady guy. There you go. What took so long? How many cards you got in hand? Two? Ooh. Ooh, you might die to this monkey. This is cool. This is really cool. Man, look at me making good decisions in Legacy. 
playing the Simeon Spirit Guide like a boss early. All right, there you go. High tied it up. Won't get. All right, I'm gonna six this again. Like I said, guys. Time spiral. Uh, I guess I shouldn't six this because I can counter spell something if I draw a fire or a pyroblast. Unless they're holding priority. And then I won't have time to interact. But the game will pass back when it passes back. Plus, how many mana? They got one mana floating. Yeah, so you good on that. You got no counter spells. Man, turn, turn, two, turn one Tranosphere would have been great. I think that would have been better than, than fucking Chalice. Same thing would have happened, though. Yep. Yeah, we're in tough shape here, boys and girls. We are going to get high tided to death. I mean, they only had two cards in hand, but then they uh, they drew seven new cards, so that's what got us. What I really wish I had right now is a goddamn idol out of the grave. Because that would be amazeballs. <coughs> I would actually win this game. I wouldn't be playing Pyroblast, so I wouldn't have been able to protect it. So I guess I'd be dead anyways, right? It's all perspective. It's all how you look at it. Man, this monkey man almost got us there, though. He started doing some chipping away. It was really cute. It was... They were pipe dreams, but they were good pipe dreams. So I was pretty happy about that. We got our music playing again, so at least we got that going for us. That's what I like to see. Cunning wish! Womp womp womp! We dead. Turnabout, you got it. 11, 9 mana. No pyroblast in sight. We got an open lotus petal though, so if we uh, if we get a, if they get a new hand, we got a chance to draw a pyroblast, which I don't think it does anything. But again, more pipe dreams. I'm good with pipe dreams. I love them. Oh no, blue suns! You know, blue sun. Man, that'd have been something to counter, wouldn't it? That'd have been fucking great. <coughs> hi, Tide! Hi, hi, hi! Hi! Storm count 16. Reveal high tide. High tide again. You got it. Merchant scroll. I died again. Oh, turnabout. Oh yeah, you got tons of lamb. You got it. Pass that turnabout. At least this person's very confident. Not confident, but competent. Uh, with being able to not go to time, because they got 12 minutes. They're only two minutes under me. Even though I'm slow as fucking shit, but... Yeah, so at least, you know, we're gonna get we're gonna get two owed here by this one, but I'm still very confident with this deck. I mean it sounds silly, but we're we're looking pretty hot here. Come on. Kill me. Kill me already. 
You got 14 cards in here. Ooh, there's the brain freeze. Okay. <laughs> 24. Ooh, buddy. You got it. GG. Brain freeze. Brain freeze. Brain freeze. Brain freeze. Brain freeze. Drink freeze. Draw your deck. Upstairs. You want me to draw my deck? Six this for each counter. There we go. Take your time, Moto. We don't have anything else. We just want to watch you brain freeze. <coughs> for 10 fucking minutes. There you go. Cute, cute, cute. Mom's basement streams, draws their deck, and loses. You know, whole priority and preordain? Yeah, I yeah, I get it. Thank you. All right, so we're one and one. We beat our first round opponent with the swiftness. So we 2-1 them. It wasn't with, we didn't 2-0 them or anything, but it was great. It was fucking great. So I'm going to go back and watch that shit because I lost my mind. They scooped to, what was it, like a turn three Gishoth or something like that? They wouldn't even let me activate and move to combat. They let me activate, but they wouldn't let me move to combat and put a bunch of other dinosaurs into play, which I was very, very sad about. So. But let's uh, let's see if we can. I don't know why my jams keep turning off. I hate it. Oh, there they go. <coughs> well, yeah, let's see if we can get into the next one. All right, we're into the next one. Let's win that die roll again. No, we lost the fucking die roll. Ooh, turn one blood moon. One, so yeah, I like this. What hands do I not keep? Holy shit, this ain't, this is just great. This is phenomenal. Not sure what to not keep here. And these hands look that great. Turn one thought sees. I've heard of that before. Womp womp. Get my blood moon. Blow my butthole out. That's what happens when you're on the play in Legacy and you just get smushed on. That die roll, man, is the absolute nuts. If you can roll hot, you good. Whoop. Take on my blood moon. Whoop. Taking my blood moon. Whoop. <laughs> oh. Maybe this guy just scoops because he knows that through the breach, charging. Uh, t that's a thought. I'm not sure if that's that's a thing, but it's it was a thing. Oh. 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 My mouth? I can't fix my mouth. We drew a chalice. You guys, you guys, we we fucking chaliced on one. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Mm-hmm. Oh, 
buddy. Man, we are gonna be, we're gonna be casting this charging uh, Tuscadon in no time. I'm really excited for this. <coughs> Turn three Tuscadon, eight eight. Hopping off that crystal vein. Ooh, sneak attack. So we're going to waste two resources playing that. The Tuscadon. So we want to hold this sneak attack back. So we want to try to bait out the counter spell here. can't stop laughing at this. Oh, I didn't think about the days. So I could have cracked that off. Holy shit. Blowout city. Yeah, I can't pay one for days. Oh, man. Oh, oh, that was bad. That was really bad, guys. That was those are the edges in uh, in Legacy where you need to know what the fuck you're doing, so crack off that crystal vein there to get around a, a daze. And there's that secondary monkey. So do we need him as a red source, or are we just going to play him and start getting the beats in? Beats the meats, the meats, the beats. Two, four, five, six is not really going to get us anywhere that we don't want to go. So. <clears throat> Ooh, a guru. Yes. It's amazing. Pizzle, the jizzle. Ponder, start making some bodies. You got it, Bubberino. Brainstorm. Ooh, fork bolt. Making some duders. All right, he's on the go wide plan. Hmm, there's our secondary red source. Our bash master. <coughs> that and then spirit guide, so now we can't cast him. Yikes, yikes, schnikes. Hmm. We're learning some stuff here though. That's good. I like it. I'm not mad about it. Alright, so let's play. Let's get this let's try to get the sneak attack into play think we need to crack this off so we can save life here. Yeah, we have one color. Yeah. 
All right, let's try to keep our time relevant here. What you do, stifle, okay, make more, got it, I'm okay with that, <coughs> excuse me, make more bodies, you got it, not a whole lot we can do here, uh, a big fat fatty, so we can blow your fucking face out with it, gish off off the top. What you gonna play with the a fat ass Gurmag angler? Can't do nothing about that. That's a lot of heat. Bring in the heat. <laughs> did I did this just happen? But god damn it, he's got a gish off. Or he's got that thing. So we're gonna take uh let's see, let's untap. Control Z. Let's untap that. Pump fake a little bit. So we're going to run Gishoth out next turn. So we're six, seven, eight, nine. So hopefully we don't die. So let's just pass the turn so that he attacks. Wasteland. Oh no, you no wasteland me. Why you wasteland me? Please attack with everybody. Please attack with everybody. Oh, don't another Gurmag Angler. This is gonna be great. Alright, we baited it. Let's see if let's see if the magic gods are upon us here. We don't have another red source, sad face, so we can't put charging Drastodon in. <clears throat> Alright, we need a lot of fucking dinosaurs off this top seven, I'll tell you that right now. Trigger! Trigger! Come on, baby! A lot of dinosaurs! We're at five. We need a lot of dinos. That's a lot of dinos. Oh. 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 oh man. I can't believe this is happening right now in my life. This deck is retarded. It's something. I want to keep this one. <laughs> oh. Oh. 
Are you not reading this guy? Twelve, twelve, trample, baby. Look at that. Look at his arms. Look at his arms. He doesn't even have arms. He doesn't have arms. <laughs> All right, let's go to the next game. Oh, man. I, I might watch this video back again like 15 times. Holy shit, you guys. Whoa. All right, so we're, what are we playing against here? We're playing against um, uh, Grixis Control. All right, so what do we bring in? Help me out here. Uh... Trinisphere, a braid, grid, Ferastodon, Delver. Oh, it's it's Delver? Okay. Yeah, 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 It's not control. Yeah, well, there's still Delver in here. Okay, got it. Thank you, Aaron. Okay. So Trinisphere. Start with Trinisphere. Watch out, fat ass. Alright, Trinispheres. Uh defense grid. Defense grid. This cute little sexy man, he's He's a great guy. Um, what are we going to take out? We want to bring in a braid? What are we bringing in a braid for? For the Delvers? Are we going to bring in Pyroblast too, for Christ's sakes? What are we going to take out? Blood Moon's real good here. Sneak Tech's real good here. Through the Breach. <clears throat> it's kind of hard to get some of our creatures in. So we brought seven cards in. I mean, Chalice is amazing here, too. You just don't know what to cut. Cut the four dino, the four, four dinos and the breaches. Okay, I can see that. Yeah, because we could, I guess we could play these little guys out and just keep on trucking. I don't know. See, maybe we take out some of the seething songs since we're on the. We leave like a breach in. The breach is kind of slow. I'm gonna leave one of the breaches in and take out a seething song. But we gotta take out two seething songs. Okay, we'll take out two th seething songs. Man, oh man, we got there against Brixis. Holy shit, that top deck. All right, we need a monkey. We need to draw a monkey here. So this is the bad part about the ancient tombs is, you know, this is a very, this is a, I'd say it's very aggressive. I wouldn't say it's semi-aggressive. I would say it's very aggressive deck. And so ancient tombs are, even if we do play things like defense grid here and Trinisphere, yeah, Trinisphere is going to be really good, but defense grid to take two, two damage for it early is tough. We'd rather see a city of traders here. But again, you... I mean, we can't really mulligan this hand because we we can go turn two Trinisphere, turn two Blood Moon, which I think the Trinisphere. What do you guys think? You think I should go Trinisphere or Blood Moon? What do you guys think? Because I'm, I mean, to be honest, I don't know. Okay, daze me, bro. That's fine. That's great. Now I can go. Now I think my answer is Blood Moon. But let me let me see what you guys think. Because Trinisphere is pretty important, but I think Blood Moon may be more important in this matchup. Ooh, get fucking racked. 
Nice. what daddy did all right so blood moon transfer so go blood moon first i don't know now we have a chalice we could cast seeding song and then play the blood moon and the chalice here if seeding song gets countered though that's fine So they'll have to deal with two threats, so I like that. I think, I think Blood Moon's more important. Shit, look at me. Trying to fucking fight through my own blood moon, I'm cute. Alright, I can't play anything here. I'm locked out. I'm about to get Snapcaster beats. <coughs> Man, remembering my own blood moon with the ancient tombs, you just don't get to ramp anymore. It's so silly. We are locked out of this game right now, boys and girls. We fucked up. We should have Trinisphered. Instead of Blood Mooning. Because we would probably live here, but I made a mistake. Yeah, that's what happens when you make mistakes. I mean, he still would have hit his three lands, so but we would just be we would still have a couple extra turns here if we would have turned his beard. So again, just tough beats on my on myself here. Yeah, and we're just gonna sit here and draw dead. We got a lucky top deck last game, so couldn't even breathe. It was so funny. But we'll see. We'll see what happens game three. We're on the play game three. We got eight cards in hand? Four, eight, yeah, we got eight cards in hand. Conceded that game. Try to save ourselves a little bit of time. All right, so I think I like Pyroblast here. We can take this blue guy out. I like having these in the main. I 
Let's see, what can we take? Trinosphere's real good here. I think we want to bring our seeding songs back in. Seeding Song. Aaron, you think I should bring in Seeding Song. I like that idea. Cut our Through the Breach. Then we have 61 cards, so we need to cut something. We cut one more Dino. Um, I think I'm going to cut... I don't want to cut too many dinos. I'm going to cut back one of these rampaging frastons. I want to take these defense grids out on the play, but I think they're pretty good. I think that, well, I don't know. Are they good? Yeah, they're good. Because we can kind of slow them down. Yeah, they're really good. All right, let's go this route. I like this. I don't think I'm going to cut, I don't think I'm going to bring in the abrades of the pyroblasts. I think I'm just going to try to my best to, <coughs> to lock them out here. Would love to be on the play, Lewis. So we can't play Trinisphere because we got two. We don't have a Soul Land. Got a bunch of Dinos and a Sneak Attack we can't play. So let's pitch this hand. So we got... Crystal Vein into a Defense Grid, which doesn't do a whole lot with a Lotus Petal. But we can play a Sneak Attack. Let's see, one, two, three, so two, three. We'd have to blow this off so we could get dazed if we play the Sneak Attack. This is also really bad. So we have two mana in, a, in the Defense Grid. So this hand just got worse. It's just like one less card. So let's mulligan here. Let's go to five. I don't like going to five here, but I think we have to. All right, so this is fine. We don't, but we can at least put Chalice on one. We could put Chalice on one and Chalice on two, turn two. Is that that important to blow off the City of Traders, though? Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna make a decision here. Um, yeah, let's put this on... Put this on the bottom. All right, let's see if we can draw a mountain and we can hit a blood moon. And we did not. But we do have a sneak attack, so if we hit a mountain, we're in good shape. Yeah, that's the tough part about this. And because like they play wasteland, so they could they could just hit a wasteland. So if we're drawn dead like we are here, it's we're we are in tough, tough shape if we can't draw out of this. I think I know what'll cheer me up though. A little bit of one. Ooh, this is the abrade. Wow. Yeah. Sideboard cards, baby. You got it. That's a Delver of Secrets. Bringing all the secrets in. Just to rub it in. You would rub it in, wouldn't you, Moto? Make me draw this stupid fucking card again. Ugh. 
god. This sucks when you can't fucking draw well. But, them's the magics. Feel a Gurmag Angler coming to uh, put a little something in my throat next turn. Come on, Delver. You gonna reveal? Oh, reveal brainstorm. So when when people say, you know, Josh, get be good. You know, I'm not really sure what to say to that when I draw like this. Uh, and then the mountain comes. He turns too late for the blood moon. But you know, I just not really sure what to say when people say to get good. Yeah, let's just play that mountain out. What does it matter? Because we can't float anything. We're in reverse here. So. Yeah. We're in really bad shape. <coughs> we die. Maybe I should have added some fiery confluences to this deck, but it's hard to get double red. Double red, triple. Maybe some just some board wipes. I like that uh, that card where it's um, volcanic fallout is really good because it can't be countered. I think that's really good in this. So we got a Gish off here. We got a sneak attack, but it, we're just too late. So if maybe we could have, you know, landed a sneak attack early on. Then again, like you saw game one, we would have been fine to get that Gish off smack in and maybe stabilize like we did against the, the fish. There's that wasteland. Yeah, so this is... This is just textbook draw bad, get curved out on and die. So we'll be 1-2. Concede game. Lewis, CBR. Good games, sir or ma'am. I appreciate you. Alright, so that was... It. One two o oh, two two one. So we did get there round one beautifully. We got to see some. We've won three out of our. What is it? We've won three games, and we've lost two, four, five games. So we did not get two owed. So in a spectacular fashion. So this deck does have some potential. Um, I'm not saying go out and build this deck, but it's really fun. It's cool to to play Gish off and to, you know, spread out, play, uh, what's his face? What's his name? The guy with the little arms. This guy right here, Dalton. Hell yeah, opponent found already. Win the die roll? Yeah. Chalice on one, Seething Song in two, Burning Sun's Avatar on two. Okay. I like this. So I feel pretty comfortable with this deck because I played these I played these chalice decks before and I played these I played mono red got like goblin prison and uh, modern you can find that on our YouTube it's actually got a decent amount of views for for just going up a few weeks ago but I didn't play spectacular in it but it, it's probably there's probably not a whole lot of videos out there for that for that deck but 
once you play these once you play this list one time you just you get into a rhythm where it's just like okay i can play a little bit faster moto is not the easiest thing to use but if you're thinking about testing a deck like this on moto with a chalice deck then you know you'd be pretty confident a no lander man these no landers weird me out in legacy <coughs> They trip me out. So, ne oh, we don't have enough. Why did I do that? Fuck. I was thinking it was six. It's not five. All right, that's a baby punt. I'm all right with that. So we can't play this because we don't have a pedal. Why was I thinking that? Yeah, kill my city. Fuck. That is the mistake that I've been making today is, is city, so... I have to say that's probably the only thing because... to put in the graveyard so we gotta race these guys this is gonna be really fucking tough why did i get to see the temporary zone Double creeping chill on the stack. Holy shit. We're in bad shape. Dredge is going to be so tough, man. So tough. <laughs> Mana will stretch at least. We don't really, I mean, no, Blood Moons don't matter here. They're not really interacting. We don't have any graveyard hate. Do we have any graveyard hate? I don't think we do. God, prize to Malgum. Holy shit titties. Wow. Woof. So that's three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, next game. Wow, that was that. So we do not have graveyard hate. What do we do here? Why didn't I put graveyard hate in the sideboard? I feel like there should have been some type of graveyard hate. What was I thinking? 
So what do you guys think? Is there anything here that's going to slow them down at all? I feel like not. I feel like I just got to be on the gas. I mean, Trinisphere doesn't do shit. Blood Moons don't do shit. Blood Moons definitely don't do shit. They just hurt me. I mean, what, I can bring in a Braids? Or Bra uh, Brastodon as blockers? Chalice's Blood Moons and Brastodon's Trinosphere's Braids. Oh. Uh, Trinosphere shuts off therapy and. Uh, got it, got it, got it. Spank you, sir. So, cut Chalice's. Yeah, obviously Chalice doesn't do anything either. Well, it does. But it just doesn't do much. All right, so we're going to bring in the Abrades. We're going to bring in the Trinospheres. We got one more card to bring in, and I guess that is... Destroy target blue permanent? I guess that kills... That could kill... Uh, that could kill a what's-its-face? The Sorcerer Spyglass doesn't do anything here, right? Yeah, Pyroblast. Okay, I figured. It takes care of what's-his-face, the 3-3. Three, three. Jeez, this is abysmal. Alright, well, let's get at it. Let's have some more wine, for sure. I'd like to play first. Ooh, that's bad. That is really bad. Let's mulligan that. No red source. Why, Dak? Crystal Vein, Crystal Vein, City, into Sneak Attack, into Gishoth. We just need a red source. <coughs> God, do we... We have Sneak Attack and Gishoth. I think that's the only way we're going to win this matchup. I feel like we should hope for a Mountain, Lotus, Petal, or... Yeah, I feel like this is the only way we're winning this, is if we have these two cards. But then we if we get Cabal Therapy, we're done. So, let's keep this. I'm going to keep this. It's not the most amazing thing ever, but it's pretty close. It's pretty close to good. Come on, Red Source, be on top. We don't have a game to lose here. That's not a red source. Fuck you. Alright, so this is... I guess this will probably be the most defeating round that we're going to play in. Because it's so not interactive. And we do not have a sideboard for it, so this is really bad for us. So we hit our mountain, so we're in better shape. So again, like I said, if if we're able to play the sneak attack and get the gish off in, I think that's our only chance that we have here. Especially with them mulliganing the seven or the six, and then moving to clean up and then discarding the ten Cosmogorian. 
think that's kind of where we wanted to be at. So we don't want to take the two damage. We want to save ourselves some life. So we'll play the City of Traders here because we don't want to pop off that Crystal Vein in case we need it later. Two, three, so we don't have to sacrifice that. Alrighty, see if we can get there, Gishoth. Come on, buddy. It's me, you, and old Mr. Sneak Attack and a bunch of other dinosaurs just having a party. really think keeping that, that 6 was the right thing. I didn't feel like I needed to go to 5, because again, like I said, you got your two pieces, you got your gish off, and you got your, you got your sneak attack. So... Ooh, Stinkweed Imp. That'd be a tough one. <coughs> Get the old Death Touch in there. If we have reoccurring Gishoths. Stinkweed Imp's great, man. But they're not casting anything anyway, so it's not like it matters. They are the Manalis Adredge, I believe. Didn't see any manas. Never play against Dredge. I played against it one time when I was playing Burn. Shit, don't get the combo on me. No, don't combo me. Don't combo me. Do I have a turn? Hope so. So we didn't draw a second mountain, so that kind of sucks balls, because then we could have put good old Mr. Tuscadon in. Sack three creatures. He's gonna put that double Icarid trigger. Rise amalgam. Shit. God, I wish I knew how manaless drags worked. It's it's a bitch when you don't know how to interact with a deck. Sacrifice and you can sacrifice return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. No, the, the this guy, the creature enters the battlefield from your graveyard. That creature deals damage equal to its power to any target. So there's no bridge in there at least, so we're solid on the bridge effect. So. Hopefully we can hit off of this Natalia if it survives, which I believe it survives here. Eyes of is going to come into play tapped. One Narc will need to trigger. I think we're in good shape to survive here. I don't think we're, we're going to die. We'll be able to put the charging Terastodon into play. So that's good. That's good news. Every thing I do 
Yep, sounds good, so no blocks. So double dread return, but you gotta sack three creatures, so then you just do four to let that Hmm. Okay, let's see how this is going to work. Maybe my guy's going to die. Again, I don't play against this this deck, so... <coughs> I have no fucking clue what's going on right now. Yeah. You got it. So I see this line. I just don't know what the rest of the lines do. So you're going to put 4 damage on him. Okay, I'm fine with that, I believe. Triple prized amalgam triggers? Quadruple? Where did the fucking, where did they come from? Did not see all of them. Yeah, okay, so you're going to sack and do 4 more damage. Here. Jesus Christ. Alright, so this dude's a 4 2. He doesn't have a counter on him though. So he's gonna have Undying, so he's gonna block this guy and then come back into play. So I'm gonna take 4, I'm gonna take 3, 7, I'm gonna take 7. That's just creature, battlefield, deals damage equal to this power to any target. Jesus, okay, so you can sack and do four more to me, so that's eight. Nine, ten, eleven. Five damage. Holy shit, yeah, because the the counter goes on, trigger goes on the stack. So five, six, seven, eight. This matchup's fucking nutty. Alright. So I'm going to one. I mean, these things have haste, right? Don't they have haste? They have fucking haste. I'm oh, so dead. Oh my god, so dead. Three, eight. Oh, add some creeping chills on to that fucking stinging wound. You got it, Bubby. Woo! God, this deck is abysmal to play against. All right, here's what we can hope for. He attacks and Moto fucks up and we don't take any damage. All right, come on, Moto, save us. Don't take, don't give us the damage. Ah, uh, that was our only out. All right, so we're one and three. We gotta, we gotta get to the two and three for the dinosaur's sake. 
we don't want to let you guys down. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play another league match. I was hoping to 5-0 with this. <laughs> I was really hoping to 5-0 with this, but, you know, sometimes it just doesn't work out. I mean, at least we got, we're one and three. Maybe we go two and three with dinosaurs. I mean, shit, last night, Aaron, Aaron, if you're still watching, man, I know you went two and three with a real deck. So my compilation of mono red sneak dinosaurs has got a win in. So I'm really proud of that. Things to be proud about. All right, locating an opponent. So while we're locating an opponent, we got time. I'll tell you guys that we are sponsored by Mom's Basement Games. This whole stream is. Everybody that's on during the week is. So you can catch us Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Sunday. I'm on today because I'm going I'm to be in Florida this coming weekend. But we are going to be doing a giveaway. Uh, it starts on Friday, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Follow the follow us on Twitch. If you're watching this on YouTube, please follow us on YouTube. And I will show you guys our TCG player. So this is momsbasementgames.tcgplayerpro.com. So check us out whenever you can. Buy our singles. We got great prices on singles. We got free shipping all the time during the week. So we are growing, and we are proud to bring you guys good content every week so check us out on facebook we have our facebook link here we got our twitter here follow me on twitter and let's see if we can play a game we're in a queue i guess nobody wants nobody wants to uh play against the dinos maybe they're scared maybe i get this wrong i didn't win three i didn't win three die rolls so far which is really good We won the die roll again. All right. No mana less dredge. With some interaction. That's not interaction. That's a sneak attack. Our, our good buddy charging top. Let's mulligan this shit. Man, we could play a turn. God, we could play one. So we'd have two, three, four. We could play a turn one sneak attack. But then we only hit for eight, and then we don't have anything after that. I just don't like it. If we had another creature, sure. Turn one chalice with some dinos. We don't have any way to get our dinos in. <coughs> we don't have we don't have a blood moon. Like if this is a blood moon, it's like, yeah, this is a great hand. But man, turn one chalice might not get us there. So going to five's pretty bad. So I think I'm going to keep this. We got one. We at least got one piece to hopefully maybe we can t see a blood moon on top. We can scry a blood moon. All right. That's more land. We don't need that. Let's put that on the bottom. Waiting for Yoshio. All right, Yoshio. On this. One chalice hurts you or not. I guess I could have popped a crystal vein and then kept this these two red sources. That probably would have been better, maybe. Well, he had it six, so that he no play, no counter spell. Ooh, baby. Bayou. Ooh, ooh, Bobby. Hey, Bobby. Looks like we're playing against some Turbo Depths, maybe? That would hurt. We need some backup if we're playing against some Turbo Depths. That's backup. Now we just need to hit a land. Oh, land. Don't get there, Bobby. Don't get there. Herborg. Ooh, that. It's no good. Hey, Bobby. Land. Man, I'm good at this game. <coughs> Come on. 
Come on, Gishoth, you can get us. We believe in you. Everybody watching believes in you. Burden Catacombs off Bob. This guy's running hot. Double land, not taking any fucking damage. Sad face. At least we're not seeing any depth pieces yet. I mean, see some crop rotation coming in our, our mitts. Alright, so let's activate the old sneaker. Let's put our little pal in. I hope that Yusio is very unhappy enough or not pleased right now. Ooh, look at the damage we got there. Didn't see any edict effect. Holy shit. Let's kill that Bob when this fucking Burning Sun's avatar comes into play. Yo, boys. <laughs> Woo! All right. All right. <laughs> Rub the old hands together, get a good laugh, and let's get to sideboarding, okay? <laughs> All right, so we saw Bob, we saw Bayou's, I think it's Depths, but I don't know. We didn't see any other cards. Sorceress Spyglass would be probably good. Activated abilities of a source, the chosen name can be activated unless they're mana abilities. So if I think that's it, I bring these in. What's up, Josh? Mike is far better than last week. Damn, that deck is jank. Spear, Spyglass. Well, thank you, Cool. I mean, I, this dank is... This is, uh, it's not... It's not a deck. Or it's not jank, it's dank. I'll tell you that. This shit's hot fire. So, Aaron, what'd you say? Spear and Spyglass? Yeah, I, I agree. It's like Spear and Spyglass are always coming in. Blood Moon's good here. I think we want to keep these seethings in. The braids. I don't think we're going to need those. What do you guys think I'm playing against right now? All we saw was a Bob and some Bayous and some Verdants. What do you think this is? I mean, this guy's got to know we're on dinosaurs now because we went Gish off into three other dinosaurs. So we, the jig's up. We've been had. So we brought in, what, four cards? So what do we bring out? I think we're going to take out... I think we're, we're going to take out... Oh, I don't know, man. This guy's so good. He's so... He's just so good. Hmm... I think we could take a seeding song out. I think we could take a through the breach out. No, because we need the combo. <sighs> yeah, I think it's just charging Grastodon again. You're out, buddy. Because this guy, the other guy's too good. This guy right here, he's just gonna blow. It's gonna blow Bob's up. All right, we got 1660. Let's do this. We could bring this guy in on the play. Yeah, we're keeping this. Blood Moon's really hot here. If it is what we think it is. Fuck! That hand hate. All right, Blood Moon off the top, baby. Like a boss. 
Blood Moon. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna cheers to thank you, Moto. I love you. I'm gonna cheers to you. Holy shit, Blood Moon off the top, y'all. Um, Ancient Tomb. Oh God, Lotus Petal. We don't want to get rid of that spirit guy because we want to try to play him for the beats. <laughs> oh, the sadness. Oh, the sadness. Yeah, I don't, what's with the pump faking in the land? You just messing with me? All right, let's play my mountain. God, Sorcerer Spyglass, like what do we even call here? We just look at their hand for fun? You just see the sadness in their hand? I guess if we could just call we we don't there's nothing to call i don't know how they get rid of i don't know how they get rid of a blood moon how do they get rid of a blood moon somebody tell me i just don't know all right cool um uh, call vampire hex mage i guess or dark i just guess i called yeah Vampire Hex Mage. <clears throat> Never didn't have it. That is so true. Man, now I just need to start hitting those land drops like a boss. So I can hard cast this Burning Suns avatar. Oh, baby. We're almost there, folks. We're almost there to a 2-3. We just chalice on one here? Just in case they hit a green source and can prop rotate or something. I don't think there is anything, but I don't know. Let's just chalice on one. It doesn't hurt. I got nothing better to do. Can't play that spirit monkey because I need to I need that extra land. Ooh, chalice on zero. Locks us out of our own lotus petals, though, so that's bad. Yep. I'm just gonna be on the land play here. I know we can draw into this land so we can play Burning Sun's Avatar. Two, three, four, five mana. We just need one more. Come on, baby. <coughs> yeah, you take that damage off of Bob. Come on. God damn it. I can play things though. Alright, Bobby. Help us out here. Do some damage. Pithing Needle. 
Okay. Name and sneak attack. I like that. Got Chalice on one, so you can't play it, so that's a good thing. We're at 12. Ooh, the Caracas would have got us. Good thing we didn't put Chalice on zero. Oh, we got to pay three to cast it. Ooh, that's going to put us t a turn behind. Shit. The old things you learn when you play Trinisphere. Alright, so we can cast old Burning Sun next turn. Reveal Pithing Needle. Yeah, buddy, you draw those Pithing Needles. Alright, here's where we do big things, you guys. We play a Burning Sun's Avatar. So excited right now. <laughs> Woo! Won the match. Here. Let's let's just screenshot this for the dinosaurs. Print screen. Alright. We did it. We did it, guys. Look at this. Print screen. We want to get the date in there. We're gonna save that. We're gonna save that and save directly. Thank you, Green Shot. All right, guys. Well, hey, we went two and three with dinosaurs in a comp league, a legacy comp league. Uh, I'm really, 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 really fucking proud of that. I'd like to see. I don't think I could. T I don't think I could talk Aaron. I don't think I could talk you into if you're still watching, playing this in a comp league. Maybe I can. Maybe you can make some alterations. Uh, you know what? I'm going to ask you to play this. I lied. I'm going to ask you to play this. Uh, this was so much fun. It was disgusting. So, again, like I told you guys, the creator of the dinosaur deck this past weekend was um, David Rosada. Um, and he played Green Red. I didn't get a, a chance to finish showing you the deck earlier, but uh, basically it was just a uh, commune of the dinosaurs. And it was it was a it was a two and three drop heavy list uh, with a lot of one drops too. So again, I didn't want to die to other chalice decks, and I didn't want to get out tempoed. So I wanted to play a game where I could go into the matchups and lock people out number one, and then sneak in my dinosaurs. And so that's when I had the idea to then main board Gishoth. I thought to myself, well, shit, if I can if I can get Gishoth in and I put enough dinosaurs in here, then I'll be able to hit multiple dinosaurs. And as you guys saw, many games, we were able to hit those two and three dinosaurs, and we were even able to hit Galta. Galta was a 12-12. He's got little tiny baby arms, but he's still, he's still a 12-12. So this list will top the other meme decks that I've played up to this point. I've been memeing for about two months now. This is my favorite deck. So if you guys watch the replay on YouTube, please give me some feedback on this deck. I'm going to have our legacy player, Aaron. He's going to play this in the next couple weeks. It won't be on Monday, but maybe it'll be an extra league that he'll play. And so we'll have some more content on this. But this deck was great. Being able to Chalice, being able to Blood Moon, and then Sneak Attack. I wasn't able to Through the Breach, but I was able to Sneak Attack a lot and get Gishoth in, so it was a lot of fun. I really wanted to activate, I, I wanted to exile the top card of somebody's fun off of it. But again, everybody, once Gishoth gets in there, and gets in the cheeks for seven, and then we put two or three dinosaurs in, they're scooping. Like you saw this that last game. They're just, they can't handle it. They're just like, fuck it, I scoop. I'm not, I, I can't believe I lost to dinosaurs in the comp league, pretty much. So it feels good, but like I said, this this deck has some room for improvement. So let us let us know, give us some feedback. I think the sideboard was pretty weak. I would probably, I would 100% cut this Chandra if you're wanting to play this deck. Rampaging for Astodon's cute. I think he could maybe go on the main board if you cut the seething songs. There was, I never really got to, you know, use the seething songs. I felt like the deck didn't really need them. So maybe you just get him in there as 
maybe a he's he's pretty good. Players can't gain life, so he's good against you know the batter skull. He's got menace, so he's cute, and he's another hit. You know, if you've got three more dinosaurs in your main, you're gonna be able to hit more dinosaurs off your gish off. It's science. The other thing that I liked a lot, I liked to braid in the sideboard. I like the ability to have the shattering spree again. We can't beat a ensnaring bridge resolve without these. There's no way to swing under that bridge. The pyroblast was great. That really helped us in the matchup against high tide. And the Trinisphere, we brought defense grid and Trinisphere in every single round pretty much against most decks because that's just great. Sorcerer Spyglass, I like that card a lot. You know, it's it's our pithing needle because we can sufficiently play this on one while also seeing their hand and being able to get an idea of what's going on. So I would play this over pithing needle in a heartbeat in this list because you have access to the two mana. I'm impressed. It's crazy. All right, you guys. I appreciate you. Yeah, Aaron, Aaron will go 5-0. I appreciate you guys watching. And like I said, don't forget to check us out at momsbasementgames.tcgplayerpro.com. We have great prices on singles, and we have free shipping. So I will be on next Friday to do some memeing. So if you guys have any ideas for me, hit me up on Twitter. Or you can find that in our TCG player, or you can find that in the description below if you're watching this on YouTube. Thanks, guys. Enjoy your night.